Our Lord warns us that when the dreaded time comes, he won't listen to any cries of regret. The time is near, so don't ignore the warning. Tell people that God, with his great power, can make the earth bright and punish all those who are impure disrespectful or speak against him. Let them know that God is watching those who spread false teachings. Encourage them to follow Christian beliefs especially priests or religious people who promise to live humbly purely and obediently, if they don't God. We'll hold them accountable encourage everyone to pray the rosary every day for world peace and to make sacrifices, tell the world that if there's no change and people keep taking advantage of God's mercy a terrible war will happen many countries will suffer many people will die, and there will be fires that destroy everything, it will be a scary time for everyone. Ask everyone to pray admit their mistakes and ask for forgiveness because God is getting ready to punish everyone like never before. Warn them that big disasters will happen, like severe earthquakes in different places. Also remind them that many souls are being saved by praying the rosary, so keep praying it sincerely and offer it for. The conversion of Russia because Russia is causing many problems for humanity, embark on acts of penance dedicating them to the betterment of Russia, ensure that my teachings remain untangled from political affairs emphasize that politics has no part in the teachings of Christ, Christ himself rejects any affiliation with politics. The world stands on the edge of uncertainty Freemasonry has infiltrated the church and society braces for impending severe retribution, prepare for a multitude of deaths illnesses and large-scale conflicts remember prayer wields great power, pray earnestly for the salvation of souls in the entire world, the world continues its descent into deeper darkness, and I am unsure what it will take to bring about salvation, crimes impurity and sacrilegious acts run rampant sin pervades every corner, acknowledge the prevailing corruption and the absence of love for one's neighbor. People disregard warnings deaf to continuous admonitions, the imminent chastisement draws near, God the Father will unleash two significant punishments, one in the form of warfare revolutions and threats of upheaval, the other will be a divine intervention plunging the world into an inner darkness lasting three days and three nights, visibility will vanish and the air will become toxic primarily affecting the enemies of religion. Only blessed candles will offer illumination during this period, the faithful must remain indoors praying the Holy Rosary and seeking God's mercy during this universal darkness, all enemies of the church, both known and hidden will perish unless they repent, St. Peter and St. Paul will intervene to elect a new pope the earth will be engulfed in flames numerous structures will crumble and the sky will seem to convulse in anguish millions will succumb to war and unforeseen deaths this catastrophe will unfold just when it seems the church has exhausted all human means to withstand persecution, furthermore implore for the conversion of Russia, the transformation of Russia hinges on the bishops heeding the desires of their heavenly father and initiating a genuine reform within the clergy, the church is tainted by politics which undermines my Catholic faith, many convents are diluting the Catholic faith, yet they remain indifferent, if they persist in neglect Russia will once again become the divine instrument with which God will severely chastise them their indifference arises from a love of money, living in a manner akin to the avaricious wealthy, Our Lady adds, many priests are unworthy even of a prayer, being constant offenders against my son, yes my daughter some priests ministers of my son through their sinful lives errors irreverence and impure dispositions in celebrating holy mysteries exhibit a lack of due purity, the sins of consecrated persons cry out to heaven and invoke divine vengeance, God will unleash an unprecedented punishment, alas my daughter, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the ministers of the church, God is ready to administer his punishment and none shall escape the multitude of calamities, yes my daughter, certain priests greatly offend my son, many are unfit to celebrate the sacred mysteries of the Eucharist due to their lack of faith and impure conduct, a severe chastisement awaits them for they bear more responsibility condemning numerous souls, certain leaders and guides of the people of God have forsaken prayer and penance. Allowing the devil to obscure their understanding birth will be inundated with malevolent 
literature the forces of darkness will disseminate universal laxity in fulfilling the obligations of God's service, the vicer of my son will endure much suffering as the church will face profound persecutions for a time, a dark period will unfold marked by a severe crisis in the church, civil and ecclesiastical powers will crumble leaving individuals to govern themselves and impose their will on others, justice will be trampled underfoot giving rise to widespread violence animosity and discord devoid of love and humanity in families, encourage daily recitation of the following invocation for priests, my Jesus through your most loving heart I beseech you to inflame with the zeal of your Love and glory all the priests, worldwide missionaries, and those entrusted with preaching your divine word, may they ignited with holy zeal triumph in winning souls, and guide them to the refuge of your heart, where they will continuously glorify you. Furthermore, my son, observe the escalating decline in human conduct daily, the ministers of God. The bishops have forsaken the disciplines of prayer and penance, succumbing to the influence of the devil, they have become like wandering stars and snared. By the old serpent's tail leading to their destruction, God in response will permit Satan to s division among rulers' societies and families resulting in numerous physical and moral consequences, divine abandonment awaits them and multiple punishments will be sent upon all, the world stands at the precipice of great peril, continues the message, instruct my children to intensify their prayers initiating a new phase in their lives, encourage them to establish a structured daily routine that allocates time for prayer, emphasis the importance of praying the holy rosary each day and meditating on each mystery. The recitation of all 15 mysteries is essential as in each rosary. Numerous souls find salvation, through prayer and reflection individuals can navigate the challenges ahead and draw closer to the divine finding solace in the refuge of faith, infinite and merciful Lord, I humbly offer my heart's whispers into your divine presence, illuminate my path with your wisdom envelop me in your boundless love, grant me strength to face trials courage in adversity and gratitude in triumph, pour your grace upon my journey guiding me to kindness compassion and selflessness. May your peace reign in my soul, and may my actions reflect your light, in moments of doubt be my unwavering anchor, bless my loved ones and all humanity with your divine protection, I surrender to your will, O Lord, and trust in your infinite goodness, Amen.